I was like, man, we've, uh, we've <laughs> You're out of control, buddy. Are you with the store or something? No, I'm not at the store, but I'm gonna escort you out of it. <laughs> Were there any scenes that translated on screen differently compared to when you filmed them? No, I think, I think what's crucial in a movie like this with the cannibalism is that everything's played for serious. Not overly serious, not up your own ass serious, but just what would this look closest to uh, reality? I think the scene with Michael Stuhlbarg that I have, it just kind of blew my mind on the day because the relationship I share with Michael in our other movie with Luca is so warm and paternal and loving. And here it was just like, I was like, man, we've, uh, we f***ed up. You know, I'm thinking I'm a bad person. All I think is that I love you. What scene really stuck out to you that was very powerful? For me to, to pick one against the others would be kind of like ungenerous, but I must say that the scene from this image is, is, is something that I'm very proud of and it's very beautiful because it's a horror scene but also it's the most endearing love scene. And the combination of his incredible uh, heartbreaking performance and the way in which the scenario, the light, the, the landscape envelops them and the way in which Fred Reznor and Atticus Ross' soundtrack really accompany this confession and this moment of triumph of the love. I'm very proud of it, very, very much. All the scenes between Taylor and Mark Rylance have a weird electricity that I love. You know, they're in disagreement about cannibalism. I thought you might be hungry. For hands? Man, uh, it's just beautiful and, and, and weird. <laughs> I can't help you anymore. I know it's not your fault. You were born this way. What advice would you give to someone who feels othered by another person or by a group of people? It depends on the situation. Some situations are so violent or judgmental that there isn't recourse not to be a pessimist, but some situations are really awful. But otherwise, if you can find the rhythm of your drum, if you can find the artistic qualities of your life that bring comfort to you, bring understanding to where you are in relation to the world, trust that and try to find your people, try to find your community.